Hey guys, welcome to another review sort of slash comparison um, today. So I am Mr. P, and what I've got on the go today is some Bio Wick, which is 100% organic cotton wick. I got this from um, SpainCigar.es. Um, again, I've said this before, in a massive package I sent down, so expect to see quite a bit from Spain Cigar, um, which is awesome. So thank you very much, Mario, for sending this down to me to have a play with. Um, and what I've got, like I say, is BioWick, which is a cotton yarn, if you like, 100% organic, which means no pesticides, fertilizers, or anything would have been used raising it up. Um, you know, and no artificial badness. So basically, it's going to be as pure as pure can be. A bit of info on it, first of all. Um, there's not really much on the site, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but it does say five euros for three meters um, of this, which to be honest with you, silica was quite a bit more expensive than that. Um, and this is kind of like a rope material, but you will see that when I do a very brief close up and re-wick up close just to see what it's like to show you what it's like to work with, sorry. Um, so that's what I'm doing today. Um, having tested Nakamichi cotton or Japanese cotton, um, it would be interesting to see just how these two compare because the price range is fairly similar. Um, and let's face it, they're both organic cotton, so I'll let you know how it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it all goes and you know how the rewrite goes, obviously, um, and then back up to me and we're going to vape and I'll be able to compare this to some of the best cotton out there. Right, guys, quick look at some 100% organic bio wick from Spain Cigar. Um, now, obviously, so open it up and pull it out um, and look for an end. So I see an end. In fact, I see two different ones, but we'll go for that one. Um, so I'll tell you what, let me cut a bit off. It's going to be a lot easier to work with a section than it is to work with the whole thing. So that's what we've got. Those of you silica fans out there, I mean, I was, but I think cotton just beasted it. Um, you know, at least this is a bit of a familiarity comparison. You know, silica, you're used to a, a rope. This is similar. Um, so now I've cut a section. In fact, what I'm going to do is cut another section there. Um, just to put it all apart really um, obviously what you've got in there is you know several several strands all twisted to make one of these little ones and then several of these twisted together much in the way that stainless steel rope is for Genesis atomizers um, so you know serious wicking potential if you think inside each of these big wicks is you know several of these little ones which contain several little ones you know and so um, you know, wicking could be really cool what I'm going to do is show you how I've been doing it probably fail epically because I'm not used to doing it um, and then obviously we'll have a vape on it so let's bring you right in so you can see just how badly I cock up if I do um, so there we go I've got this is a Zenith I'm used to the Zenith and now it works um, with a sort of 0.5 build you know 0.5 candle around 0.5 ohms 2 millimeter drill bit um, so that's what I've got this um, organic cotton here is um or this biowick sorry is um three millimeter but you know as you sort of twist it sorry as you, as you twist it you should be able to sort of what I want to do really is twist it to get it in and then sort of back it off so it's nice and sort of like that but we'll see just how this goes so to start with what I'm going to do is trying to go with the direction of the twists that are already in the cotton I'm going to sort of try and narrow the end as much as I physically can um, and see whether I can have any luck sticking that through, which is what I've been doing so far. I know there are other ways to do this, but you know, I'll try and do what's what's good for me. Um, so let's see if that will go through. No, two it will do. Let's just oh hello. Let's just get some e liquid involved in the situation. It's going to help. I'll back your foot as well. It's going to help um, that that cotton stay sort of tighter wound when you're twisting it. Um, so, now we've got some e-liquid involved in the situation, you can see there's a bit more success there, but obviously bear in mind e-liquid shouldn't really be touching your skin, um, if you're like me you just don't care, but some people really really do, so we've got it through the coil, and like I say what I wanted to do is, let's bring you in, focus, too much zoom there guys I reckon, there we go, uh, what I wanted to do is twist it to get it through, and then sort of unravel it a bit so we'll give that a go so if I give it a twist to pull through to be honest with you that actually feels pretty loose in here so I'm actually going to unravel it now like so you know try and get them strands in fact fairly loose and goosey um, and from here I'm not going to cut too much because 
of the way it is, you know, there's plenty of room under there. Cotton kind of fluffs up and then explodes um, when it's sort of just, you know, your cotton balls, whatever. Whereas this is like a string situation, I'm hoping that we will have, um, you know, less of that fluffing that's in an uncontrolled direction, if that makes any sense. So if I just grab this here, what I'm planning is fluff it up into several hairs, you know, like an Icliff 30S head, um, and then sort of get your finger involved, pinch it under, would be my plan. So kind of something like that, because of all that additional, you can leave it really long. I'm gonna do the same at the back as well. I'm just gonna cut off some of these straggly hairs, like that. Again, untwist it, and again, because it's, you know, that kind of shape and size in that cylindrical, you can just sort of pop it through there like that bring it back on this side and then kind of place it down here. Now obviously being cotton it does like to undo, but that to me screams wicking potential. So let's see how it primes. Because um, like I say, it was a bit loose in that coil, looser than I would have done cotton wool balls anyway. So I'm gonna start there first of all, and I'm actually gonna just, it doesn't seem to be changing color like your traditional cotton would. Um, or well, cotton yarn is quite popular, you know, in America in particular. Um, so this is more of a familiar thing. This is actually the first time I've ever used cotton, um, sort of a yarn. I mean, I know this is BioWick, but it's a similar deal. Um, so I'm actually going to give that a minute and just see what kind of colour change happens. And obviously, the reason this has potential is one because it's 100% organic from day dot, which means you know no unnatural beasties have been used to harvest it or any in the process of it. Um, which obviously we all know provides good flavour from standard cotton too because of all them strands you know it really does it has a lot of potential there you can see it yourself it's like spaghetti so if each of them kind of little wicks are sucking up a load of juice we've got potential for some serious you know wicking capabilities um, I would say that's I mean as primed as it's going to get so you know it's definitely chucking the vapour out I just want to see I'm impressed with that um, I just want to see what the kind of the rebound is on the on the wicking because obviously as cotton if you use cotton you'll know you can see it sort of get dry here and here when you put it under you know under fire and as you let it off you can see it sort of sucking it back up and it seems to be you know doing a pretty good job I've not actually examined this in this kind of close close detail when I've been using it up until this point so um, yeah that's that's kind of what I've been doing to to rewick with it. I wouldn't go any bigger than a 2 mil drill bit unless you plan on doubling it over. So if you went to sort of a 3 mil, double it over and you probably have quite a nice snug fitting um, wick. Now to do that, what I would do is get a piece of canthal and sort of fold it over in a, in a U shape. Um, poke the canthal through your coil at the U and then sort of tuck the wick through that and then use the, the canthal to pull the wick back through. Um, if that makes any sense to you. Um, so kind of, I'm, I imagine most of you would have seen it being done, but if you haven't, you know, if, if that's your bit of there if that's a bit of candle there you kind of do that stick it through the coil uh, and then you'd have a loose bit of wick like this you then stick that through the loop of the candle and then use that bit of candle to then pull the wick back through the coil um, I don't actually really like using that method so that's why I haven't done it um, but anyway what I'll do is I'll grab my top cap chuck it back on here um, and then obviously bring her back up and we're gonna have a little vape and compare this to some standard cotton Right guys, welcome back up to me. So, Biowick. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I had tried this a bit previously, as you know, usually would. Um, and up until about 12 hours ago, um, I pretty much written this off as a valid wicking material for me, or a viable wicking material for me. Um, there were definitely things I liked about it, but when push came to shove, I didn't find it performed as well as um, the Nakamichi cotton um, that I was sent by the Spencer guy who sent this down. Um, and I also found that it was very unfamiliar for me to work with because I don't use yarn. That being said, after that build, um, it's been a fair amount of time since that, to be honest with you, it's been about 14 hours. Um, so I've been using it since then and 
I've been trying to find ways to make it cock up because it's working spectacularly. Um, now, since doing that close up, I've actually rewicked this again to see where it was a fluke. Um, there was no other preparation. It's exactly what you saw down there. The same thing with the wicks underneath and around the back. The same thing with opening them up. Now, I will say the first couple of times I did try this, I didn't unravel them strands. I left them twisted. And I think that's what's making a big difference in this case anyway. Um, the flavour before I found to not rival even my normal organic cotton that I would use in and have been using for a long time. You know that you've seen me do builds in up until up till this point. Um, that unravelling has improved wicking. It's definitely improved how neatly it fits into the coil when it's in there. You don't unravel it for little juice and it's kind of perfect. So if you're typically wrapping your uh, coil around a 2mm drill bit, literally that one strand fits in and it's perfect every time. Every time. Just unravel it. Um, and I had no qualms of how it fit before, but it seems to be a little bit more correct. I don't know. It doesn't, appearance wise, it's not different. But it's not until you're using it, you kind of I'm noticing that difference now. I don't know why that is. I'm guessing because the strands being unraveled, it takes up a little bit more space, uh, and therefore it's packing out a little bit more. Um, but it's doing the business, and it's doing it big time. Um, so I'll get straight into you know bits and bobs about it. So there isn't much info on it on the site. To be perfectly honest with you, the price is five euro, um, as I've gone over already. Now five euro, it's make it makes it expensive in my book uh, I mean five euros about it's about four quid four pound twenty um, for three meters now don't get me wrong when we was using silica I was paying at times two pound a meter for three millimeter silica from stealth vape or whatever so in comparison to that it's definitely cheaper um, but you know that's not not forgetting that you use a lot more when it's in a rope or a yarn format than you would if it was in a cotton ball. One cotton ball will last you 10, 20 builds. You know, a meter of this may only last you the same. So, you know, again, it can work out even more expensive than the, uh, the Nakamichi cotton. It is a different thing to work with, you know, and those of us that have got used to working with very, very flexible, very pliable, organic cotton wool balls or something like that, you know, this is very, very different. It's going back to a rope style, um, and that in itself is a bit weird. But, The flavour I'm getting off of this build at the minute is astronomically good. Um, again, in the same juice that I was using when I did the uh, Nakamichi cotton, purely because, as I say, I know how this juice tastes at this resistance because that's where I find it to be the best. I know it tastes on standard cotton, I know it tastes on Nakamichi, and um, I wanted to compare that to this. This is the best sort of all round ground that I had to do it with and with this juice honestly I'm getting a dramatic improvement um, on flavour and that's over in my opinion Nakamichi that's not just over my standard standalone organic cotton ball balls that I was using um, I wasn't expected to be honest I expected to put the build in you know fanny around with it a little bit come up here and go yeah it's all right but like I say, in my head, I pretty much written it off, um, and I was not not rightly doing so. To be honest with you, I shouldn't have been doing that um, because a little bit more toying around, and I found how to get this to work for me, and it's spectacular. It really is. It keeps up. It is wicking like a dream. It is flavouring like an absolute monster. It's I can literally <laughs> it's keeping up with it. It's like a champ, honestly. It's this dry, you know, it's keeping up like an absolute animal. Um I can chain vape it. I can vape it at seriously low res because I did try a different dripper with this bio cotton 0.15 ohms. I had it in fact. Um, I can vape it at higher res. I can stick down the Jenny tank and just dangle it through, and it works beautifully. 
we all wanted to know whether um, Nakamichi cotton or Japanese cotton was better than your standalone cotton and yeah I still believe it is um, this in my opinion for flavour and flavour alone is better um, than the Nakamichi and the standalone um, this is smashing it, this is the best wicking material in terms of flavour I've ever used uh, in terms of cost it's not the worst, silica was worse and this was buying it in big quantities but it's definitely not as cost efficient as your standard cotton would be um, in terms of build now it, it depends on what core you run I mean if you run a macro you just got to loop it over and chuck it through no problem whatsoever these two mil drill bits like I say really wet the end poke it through pull it in and unravel it it's perfect every time as long as it's around a two mil bit if you're going around a 1.5 mil bit if you're doing nano coils you're never going to get this through you'll have to undo strands and then kind of twist them back together pull them through and then undo them again but you have the option to do that the strands are there and they're quite easy to manage um, all things considered, I said this in the Nakamichi, it's about flavour. That's that's it is about flavour. That is why we do this. That's why we're not using a flavourless juice or tobacco juices because we wanted more from what we have. Um, and for those of you that are flavour junkies, you're gonna love this wicking material as long as you just make sure you get it sweet spot. Um, and if this isn't about flavour, what's it about? Vapour because this will keep up with that too, you know. It's it's a no-brainer to be honest with you. The only downside, like I say, is cost. It's costing you more money. If you've got that money to spend that bit extra, then crack on and go for it. You're probably using about an inch, inch and a half, maybe an inch and a half, and a little bit more than that per coil, you know, or per yeah per coil or per build, depending on whether you're a dual or a single coil kind of person. Even if you're dual coiling, you're using three inches every time in a meter. You know, that's quick math, thirteen. 13 builds you'll get out of it. Uh, if you're doing single coils, you're looking at 20 to 30, 25 to 30 builds out of it per meter, that is. So, you know, you can times them figures by three for your three meters, which is what you're getting for your four pound 20 odd. Um, if you use a K fund for three days and then re wick it, you know, you're getting 100 builds, you're, forever, you're getting a year's worth out of three meters. Um, if that's all you're doing, if you're experimenting, then you're going to get a lot less because obviously we rip through the wicking material when we're experimenting. We know this to be the case, but for the the cost, the experience I'm getting now, I would pay that just to have this in this build over my standard cotton with this juice in my ideal setup because it tastes that fucking good. Um, so there you have it. By far the best wicking material I have ever used. Bio wick. Give it a go guys, obviously big thank you to the guys at Spain Cigar for sending this down to me. The link will be down there if you want to check them out and also up here. I haven't mentioned this in a couple of the other videos that I've done for them, but the service was spectacular. Um, they said they'd arranged it for me on a Friday evening, it was on my door uh, on the Monday morning. It was actually in the country Friday night, so I strongly believe if it wasn't a Friday and a weekend where UPS don't deliver, it would have been next day and I have seen people who have bought from Spain Cigar had their stuff delivered next day. Royal Mail can't even manage that in the same bloody country. So a big hats off to you guys at Spain Cigar for having such a bloody good service, um, especially when you're coming from another country. So thank you very much to you guys. Uh, obviously thank you very much to you guys for watching me. Seriously give it a go. Um, nothing really more to say. Give it a go. I've been Mr P. I shall see you soon.